So in this video, we're gonna go from iClone into Unreal Engine 4 or 5, whichever one you wanna use. So with our character animated over here, I'm using one of iClone's eight features for the footprints. Let's come up into plugging, plug-ins, plugins, plug, pl plugins, plugins. Click on Unreal Live Link, and then we have this Unreal Live Link tab. Now jumping over into Unreal Engine, you can see that I've got this already enabled. However, if you go into the marketplace, type in iClone, we have iClone Unreal Live Link, and then we can click download or purchase, blah, blah, blah. It's for free, and then install it to whatever engine you're using. Obviously, I've got it installed to engine five. Then to enable it, we come up into edit, plugins. We can do iClone and tick. As soon as you tick it, it'll ask you to close and reopen Unreal Engine, Bob Girani. Once you've done all that jazz, we can come up into Windows, Virtual Productions, and then Live Link. And then this is what we have. From here, I can click Source, iClone Live Link, and press OK. Now we'll add in an iClone Origin, semi-important. But now once we jump over into iClone, if you haven't imported your character, you can go Transfer File, and oh my goodness, this is a life saver because it just copies everything and brings it over to Unreal Engine in terms of characters and material setup and all that jazz. However, to capture the motion and bring it over, we need to click on Link. From here, we can select what we want to be sent over. So characters, I want the male Hercules to be sent across. So let's disable everything else an active link. Then we come over into Unreal Engine and we can see that we have what we are targeting. Now it will create a folder called RL Content. Male Herculean is what my character is. CC3 Live Link. Let's select CC Live Link Blueprint and we will dump him in there. And we can see our character is in this pose where if we come into iClone, he is in this pose with his arm in his belly. Now, if I press play, come back into Unreal Engine, we can see that this character is now moving around. Fully sick bre. What are we gonna do from here? Let's pause it, come back to the start. From here, I've got the take recorder open, or if we come into Windows, Cinematic, and take recorder, we can see that we have this. Let's select our source from actor. It'll be this one. Nope, it is not that one. Add source from actor CC link live blueprint. And what I can do now is press record, come back into iClone, press play, and you can see nothing is happening. However, if I have iClone open and being the primary screen, it works. So I was just gonna kind of quickly go through and record this whole animation. One thing I did do is I stuffed up is I forgot to change the frame rate from 24 frames second to 60, which is what that animation is. So let's just go back to the start and do that again. And that is now finished. I already have the sequencer open down here. However, I am gonna close it. Let's come into cinematics. So I'm just gonna create a new sequencer, right click, and we're just gonna type in sequence. And we're gonna go level sequence. From here, I'm gonna click and drag it into the scene. Now with this open, we can come into details and we can go open level sequence. And now if I want a secondary character in here, so I will use the male Hercules because obviously we've just recorded him and I kind of wanna have duplicates of him. I'm gonna go male Hercules, throw him into there, go back onto the sequencer. We wanna track an actor to sequence. This dude is the male Hercules Ning. From here, we're gonna click on the animation. So we wanna apply that animation that we just did, which would be, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go into content browser, cinematics, takes, uh, the 14th, that's today. And it is 108 is what we want to apply. So back into the sequencer. Let's add in that animation, 108. Now, this is a wonderful problem that we're gonna have. I'm just gonna increase the scale. If I press play now with spacebar, he freaking stays in the one spot. This is two days. I wasted working this out. Let's come back to the start. From the content browser, let's come into our takes. Obviously today, we know it's 108. Double clicking on that timeline will increase all this. I'm going to right click on the transformation over here and go copy. And buddy, get staffed. 
Let's now come into our main level blueprint, open level sequence. From here with this character selected, transformation, I'm gonna right click and go paste. Now, this chap moves where he needs to go. He is not. Ah, oh, that's why. So what we've done is since we've pasted in the transformation, there are two transformations now. So if we were to stop that and delete the transformation that has no keyframes, you will see now he is moving around how we want him to move around. Oh my goodness. Absolutely perfect. However, obviously we can't just move him willy nilly now because these keyframes are set. So let's do some stuff. From here, I'm gonna click on the plus sign up here. We're gonna go into basics, no, sorry, shapes, add a plane. And I'm just gonna move that down there. From here, I'm gonna click and drag the Herculean man into the plane. So now the plane is the parent. And from here, we can move the character to where we want that animation to happen. If we don't want that plane being shown, we can just kind of come into rendering. Is it visible? Yes. Actor hidden in game, beautiful. However, we can still select it and move our character around. And this will also allow us to increase the size of the character if you wanted to, maybe 100 by 100 by 100. And we will bring our giant character over. Where are you, mate? There you are. Uh, <laughs> can you can you come over buddy maybe maybe that's a little bit extreme <laughs> oh what have I done there you go and so now when we come into uh, play the animation stompy stomp <laughs> I gotta clean up the animation. So I'm not gonna lie, there's about 35 seconds left before I hit the eight minute mark. Um, the reason why the character is so far offset from the origin point is because I set up the motion capture suit here and then I walk out into the lounge room and do all my mocap there because I got a little bit more room. The other thing is, if you wanna support me more, there is Patreon, jump over there, check out Deadset Digital as well over on YouTube. Um, that's where I'm be putting my shorts and hopefully I can get more out there. I'm an idiot.